Computer science is really problem solving using a computer science language. It's not really the language per se. It's really the person's talent for being a logical, step-by-step, -step, analytical type of person. They want to learn more. They're not just satisfied uh, learning one technique or technology. They're interested in expanding their horizons by trying out different programming languages, different scripting languages, and they really dig into the material in the program. A computer science student, their core courses would be uh, computer science one and two, um, advanced data structures, uh, assembly language course. Typically we want them to take some electives in Java since our core computer science courses are taught in C++. This gives them an exposure uh, to a second programming language. Uh, as well, they're required to take um, the two-semester calculus sequence, calculus one and two, and they also need the science electives which could range from physics, chemistry, or biology, whichever is appropriate, and uh, also the humanities and social science electives apply for them as well. So you're going to have columns zero, one, two, three. The students coming in to our computer science department and utilizing our labs will have all the, uh, the same benefits that they would receive, say, at a larger institution, we have all the latest uh, software and hardware that they would need to be competitive. We have um, what's called an MSD and AA subscription with Microsoft. And what that allows, that allows students to download some of the software from Microsoft that we use in the labs onto their personal computers. And it's legal, and uh, they can do work on their own machine at their own time and place of preference. Students experience the latest that we can offer them in terms of the languages presented, the ability to work with the different operating systems, experience networking capabilities, and they also experience the latest that can be found in terms of the environment to develop software. That should fix it. If you put it back in here, that should fix it. Our students upon graduating from the computer science program here at ECC, uh, they have written numerous user manuals and programmer manuals throughout their coursework. And these manuals can, can be part of their portfolio as they are pursuing uh, jobs in, uh, in the private sector or as they're transferring to four-year institutions to indicate the, uh, the breadth of their work here at ECC. When our students transfer to a four-year program, which a lot of our students do do, our feedback is extremely positive because they come out of here with a, a very good foundation in C++ and a second language, Java, and they feel extremely well prepared. Some of our students have gone on to UB and to get a four-year degree in a CS field, computer science field, and they said they're, they're uh, very capable at UB and they feel that they've been very well prepared compared to some of the other students in their classes. We have to actually go through and show what tricks can be done and what can't be done. And the strengths of the faculty at ECC in computer science are that they all have extensive math degrees, uh, master's levels, and most have extensive coursework completed on the graduate level in computer science itself. They frequently attend workshops and conferences to stay up to date with the latest uh, techniques and technology and, and they bring that into the classroom in a variety of ways. We employ um, a lot of different teaching styles such as direct lecture, uh, a lot of group work with the students. Uh, Our classroom for computer science usually consists of no more than 20 students because of our lab situations. We want to be able to afford any student that takes a, a computer science course the ability to have work in lab on their own computer with instructor in attention. The teacher is frequently you know, walking up and down the rows and, and working with students individually. There's a lot of group work among the students themselves, which is excellent for team building. But you're going to have to do uh, mimic as you go through because we're going to need constructors everywhere. We hope that our students upon graduation will have really had a, a nice bridge either to the working world or to a 
four-year institution. We hope that their time here at Erie, since it is a more intimate setting, they'll be able to form a lot of lasting friendships. 